Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another Deadman Mode video. And in the last video, we finally ended up maxing in the Deadman Mode. And now I don't know what to do anymore. There are a couple of things I still have to make sure I have on this account. For example, I'll have to get some points in Nightmare Zone to quickly imbue my Ring of Suffering. But outside of that, I'm basically prepared on the account. The only thing I'm missing is Ancestral Body. Now, in order to do that, I can even go do raids or get some other rare drops that self for a lot of money and then sell them on the grand exchange and then buy ancestral bodies so i think in this episode i'll grab all three of my accounts and i'll do different sorts of pvm in order to make as much money as possible in order to hopefully achieve ancestral plate body that being said let's jump right into the video Alright, so I wasn't commentating there because I was actually playing a league game, but we just got a kill on that full black uh, black mask guy and whatnot. I I feel a little bit bad for him because he watches my videos, but it's Deadman mode. This is the account I kind of want to, you know, be a little ragger on. It's, it's my range only account in a hundred bracket. I mean, why not, right? It's Deadman mode. We got a Banky. Wonder what it's gonna be. Uh, but I couldn't go loot him because he went into KBD and there was a team inside KBD. So I didn't really have an option to loot it, but yeah. Let's go see what's inside this. Alright, let's see what's inside the banky. Ooh, shoulder parrot, master scroll book. We got some bronze plate legs. I mean, hey, I'll take it. A pick air is probably gonna take this from me very soon, but I can't complain. The first thing we had to do is get enough points in Nightmare Zone in order to get 725,000 in order to imbue the Ring of Suffering. Now, the stats on the Ring of Suffering are amazing even when it's not imbued, but obviously once you do imbue it, it becomes twice as good, literally. So this is by far the best uh, ring I'm ever going to have in the game. Um, now, all I have to do is get enough recalls in order to basically use it, uh, but First, before we leave this area, I'm also gonna charge my Dragon Fire Shield, and I'll show you a very cool method to do that. So for charging your DFS, all you're really gonna do is dream and then use practice and then just choose the normal practice. After that, you wanna find Elvarg. There it is, Dragon Slayer 1, and that should be it. Now for a second, I actually uh, was worried that I didn't complete the Dragon Slayer 1 quest, but apparently it's automatically completed. So at this point, all you do is you just stay AFK, and if you check your shield, your shield is slowly going to get charges. You can also drink some absorption potions if you want, in order to not take too much damage and just AFK this part. And just like that, a couple of minutes later, we now have 50 charges, which is fully charged shield. So now we have that out of the way as well. Very cool. And now lastly, there's another untradeable item I would like to make, and that is just your standard amulet of blood fury the shard is going to make the fury heal me sometimes when i deal melee damage and that's going to be crucial in the 1v1s so amulet of blood fury is also created if you're wondering why am i doing all of these things well once you create these untradeable items you can no longer store them in your safety deposit box so i was kind of waiting before i was really sure that i won't want to lose these items uh, but now i have two guardian angels nothing to lose i'm maxed so now is the perfect time to actually prepare all of these items for the 1v1 now we have to make as many recoil rings as possible really and if we take a look at our bank we have enough sapphires to make enough of them so let's go ahead and do that very quickly and here we go we made a couple of recalls we can now use them on the suffering and there it is 1840 recall charges I don't know if I'll need more than that uh, but you know maybe over the time I'll use I don't know I, I'll just get more rings of recall but this ring is going to be so crucial in the 1v1s and I'm very happy to have it my disk space was too full but i just received an elder chaos hood on our wilderness slayer account so i'm gonna quickly see how much i can sell this for i know it's used in the pure bracket so it could be worth something so let's see let's just sell it for 100k and see what happens oh it's like that okay maybe i'll try to slow sell it we'll see no no way i actually got a very first pvp weapon drop after so long and i got the morrigan throwing axes out of all things, I've waited for the moment to achieve anything, to just get a drop, okay? For so long, and I get the worst one. 
<laughs> no! Well, it's 50 of them, though. We'll take it. I wonder how much they sell for, but damn, that's unlucky. That is a fairly nice supply drop. Torstals, especially, is what can sell for quite a bit each, so we'll take it. No, I'm... No. Mercy. Oh my god, he almost died for... He almost died for Statue's Warhammer. No way. He just ran. What? He almost died for Statue's Warhammer and everything, because everything was attacking him. There it is. Another one, Elder Chaos Top. Maybe this one is worth a bit more. It says 500k from just a price check, but maybe if I can sell it for something more, you know, uh, that, that, that could be kind of nice. The hood only sold for like 100k exactly, so that was a little bit unlucky. Never mind, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Apparently, all of these items are only worth like 50 to 100k, so it might be a very good item to just have sitting in your bank as a placeholder item and I guess this drop finishes the set I actually got all three drops in this video that's kind of cool I don't think I'll bank it it's not really worth that much but it's still a cool item oh yeah also worth mentioning uh, Runelight HD was just released and uh, now I'm kind of using it I'm still twiddling with the settings a little bit to see what really makes it look the best but I really like it tell me in the comments what you think about it should I be recording the HD version or the standard version of, of RuneScape please do let me know All right, we have a little bit of a fight. Let's see how it goes. Wait, he has Venom. No, I don't have anti-venom. Okay, we're gonna have to go for a little bit of a run. Let me just get away from the other one. Not having anti-venom is really bad though. I don't fully know where to go. Okay, a little bit more down. Nice, easy escape, let's get it. How sick was that? That was really nice tank, but now I need an anti-venom. All right, I do believe it is time to get our alt account going again, and this time I will actually attempt God Wars Dungeon by myself. I bought Sigil of Last Recall, I bought Sigil of Supreme Stamina, and I'm gonna go ahead and go do some Ziliana. Now, the reason for the stamina is I basically will need to run around a lot, and the reason for the Last Recall is if the trips are successful, I can basically go right back there and do it. There's not a lot of people in this world anymore, only like 50 as you can see. So I think this is an ideal world to farm rare items on and the ACB for example right now goes for around like 140 mil 07 it is ridiculous so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get lucky all right so here we are Ziliana is in the room and the idea is if I get 10 kills and then get out and back in I can use the sigil of last recall basically permanently here unfortunately I'm pretty bad at this when it comes to solo so we'll see how it goes okay we're starting on KC 51 the first kill was all right I guess Oh, I just got a Zuriel staff of a fucking minion. Nah, you're trolling. <laughs> Wait, so if I go here and then I go here, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> So you're telling me I spent like a week playing two accounts in the wilderness, grinding for a PvP weapons, I gave up on it, decided, you know what, let's do some solo God Wars, and on the first ever trip, after like three kills, I get a Zuriel staff, not even in the wilderness. This is around 5 million dead men right now, or if I were to swallow, I don't know how much this goes for, but it's not the best PvP weapon, but it's a damn good one to say the least, so I'm very, very happy. I actually got that, I can't believe it. That is Insane. I'm really happy. I just got a VLS. I just got a VLS. Today is the best day ever. I just got Zuriel on the other account. VLS on this account. My microphone is in absolute Narnia. Is it even in here? Dude, today is a good day. Oh shit. It exists. Nah, it exists, bro. Oh shit. Nah, there it is. The VLS, the best weapon in the game. I actually got, I can't believe it. Oh my god. VLS is currently 54 million deadman mode. That is so much money. If I swapped, I mean, I'll probably swap this to 07 because I already have it on my main account. But that's crazy. No. Can I survive it? Let's see. Wait, wait, winning, winning. Probably no chance. I ah, but they're teleporting me back. I'm getting scammed. Wait, bolted this guy once. Pulled that guy once. 
I think I'm very dead right now, but luckily I got my VLS, right? So we're good. Let's see. They keep teleporting me around. Dude, it's such a sc scam game. How am I? Dude, these fucking wizards, bro. The goddamn wizards. Look, are they gonna keep teleporting me back, bro? You can't make it up. Okay. No, dude, you can't make this up. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what is this? What is the. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> fuck. Oh my god, I can't believe it, bro. The saddest thing is, I don't think I would have died. Wait. Maybe I make an epic escape now. I'm no longer being teleported. Actual sad scam game, bro. The amount of times I got teleported back. There is nothing I can do. All right, well, I've got one life and not much left. My bank is basically empty. If I die, I lose just about this, whatever that is. Nothing too crazy. I am quickly gonna go open my 25 Laren keys before I die because it would be a complete disaster if I were to die right here. So let's go ahead and do that first. And then I also have like 2 million points in my Emblem Trader. So I'll go cash those out first because if you lose a life, you lose all those points and we don't want that to happen. So if I grab my Burning Amulet, which I don't have, we're quickly gonna go ahead and go there the safe way all right here we go i'm gonna go through okay we're good this is my clan okay we're gonna go through this way because i do think it's gonna be maybe just a little bit safer look at this absolute beast over here and uh yeah we basically need to make our way into very deep wilderness right now and i have 25 of this that's quite a lot but if i get some supplies or if i get cash whatever it is this can give me a lot of money actually 25 latin keys that's quite a lot of stuff that you can get out of it so let's see what we ended up getting I actually came here very unprepared, don't have lockpick, don't have anything like that. I'm just playing over the fact that I don't think anyone in max bracket is gonna be here. Diamonds, this is already a lot of money, I know that much. Five rune full homes, that's crazy. A lot of coal that's going for around 400 coin each, 134k straight up, 15 rune ores. Uh, ooh, that's how you get those dragon fruits. More diamonds, those are really useful for bolts. More rubies, those are also very good. Wow, that's a lot of steel bars, that's actually crazy. More coal. 3 room play boys, that's around 150k, that's some pure essence, that's probably the worst one, some iron ore, that's pretty cheap, 125k, that's very good, 500 coal, that's pretty decent, iron ore is really bad, it's like 20 coin each, that was Renars, it's like 100 coin each, that's 1 coin each, that is very cheap as well, that is dragon fruit 3, I don't know how much those go for, it could be a good bank place uh, holder item, uh, nothing crazy there, uh, more diamonds, that's pretty good. A lot of magic logs, that's very good actually, more than 1k each, and that is all we ended up getting. Before we go down, if we check, 4 million in the bag, oh me oh my, I didn't know it would be that much. Right, now let's try not to die. Okay, we made it safe, we made it safe, nice. Alright, sick, Zuriel staff just sold for 8 million on the grand exchange, that is pretty nice actually. Beautiful, a lot of things bought overnight, so now we do finally have a serpentine helm, which is the helm we're gonna use in the 1v1s. Originally I didn't think I would use it, but then instead of taking an anti-venom, I can just use a serp helm and spare one inventory in my very first fight, and then the further on we go, I don't really need to worry about anti-venoms. The defense are a little bit lower than the Barrow's Helm, but the strength adds up for it, so I think it's a good purchase, and I think it's the item that I will be using in the 1v1s. And at the same time, we're also upgrading the Ranger. I obviously will continue doing God Wars on this account, so that is the gear right now. For some reason, I ended up not buying any legs. That is my bad. Okay, solo Godsword Chart 3. It's not quite uh, what we wanted, but I mean, we'll take it, right? I'm basically ending the trip here, but hey, at least we got something. Sarah's light. Okay, well, enjoy, enjoy a useless <laughs> drop bell. Good luck. I mean, uh, grats. And we just got a Godsword Chart 1. Yoink. I got a Sigil of Supreme Stamina. All right. We'll take it. I don't know what happened to my account, but here is a Zuriel Staff. Number two, I'm eating my breakfast. And that's the third PvP weapon in this video that we've gotten. I haven't gotten a single PvP weapon in three weeks. And then I get three of them in one video. That is just unreal, honestly. I, I, I don't know what to say. I'll take that. 
on the Mantis Blade body. 69 on the kill count. Very cool. That's God Sword Shard 2. Finally a drop, but it really isn't the one we were looking for. Sarah's Light, of course. Ah, that's so unlucky, man. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. Do me what it do me. One coin on the Grand Exchange. God Sword Shard 2 of a boss. Unlucky. We'll take it. We have two of them. Nice. You have no food? Okay, but I'll give you some food. Don't worry about it. Yeah, bro. It's like actual mosquito spawn. I'm not joking. Wait, you actually died? Belle just planked. <laughs> we lost her, boys. We lost Belle. Sad. And we get the rune to hander sword. That has to be rare. Rune to hander rarer than crossbow? Sad. Look how quickly we kill it. This is amazing. I love this. Hey, we got super restore. A greater foe. Wow. Combat task completed. Wow. Steam battle stuff. No, that's the first drop. An unlucky one, though. No. It's okay. It's okay. I see. Bro, why did you drop Gilded Boots, Admiral? You fucking troller, man. I thought it was an actual drop. Got Sword Shard 1 off a boss. We'll take it. We'll take anything we get. 9kc already. Nice. You're fighting a guy with Ellie, and he forgets to take an anti-venom. Bro. Nah, he gets hit like 20, 20, 20, 20. You never know, man. It could actually happen. So for that small, tiny chance of it maybe happening, that's why we're hunting for the stuff of the dead right now. Come on, we want a drop. This, we've only gotten steam battle stuff so far. Stuff of the dead! <gasps> Let's go! Bell, take it and go! Take it and go! That's what we need, that's actually huge. That is actually so good. We got everything, so now we just look to get more, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's so good, though. Oh, fuck, I'm dying. Yo, there is God Sword Shard 2, nice. It's like 150k, probably, let's be honest. We got two God Sword Shard 2s in one kill, from a minion as well. Lol. Steam battle stuff, no. Not, an not another one, sad. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, this is all I have in store for you guys for this Deadman mode. Obviously, there's still 1v1s left, but when it comes to just progression series, this is all I have in store. My account is fully complete. I have all the 99 stats. I have all the gear I could ever hope for. The obvious only things missing would be an Ellie and Arcane. Now, obviously, there is basically no way for me to get them unless I were to swap 07 money for it. However, I do believe that, uh, well, this is as best as the gear is going to get. Now, when it comes to the sigils for the 1v1s, I know a lot of people would be asking which ones I'm thinking of taking. I'll be taking the sigil of the menacing mage for the extra sustain and sigil of specialized strikes for more VLS specs, but also sigil of versatility. I'm thinking to activate this in between the fights, turn it into lunar, boom, venge up real quick and then turn it back into ancient. And that's gonna be my third relic of choice that I think I'll be taking into the 1v1s. You can only use this outside of combat, so we're only gonna be using this when it comes to basically the start of the fight and outside of that yeah i mean we've achieved everything thanks to the shout out to the boys on honestly in my cc mika is the clan chat if you guys still want to join consider joining the discord you know this is the cc where we are going to be hanging around even after deadman mode but yeah honestly i don't i don't even know what to say anymore here the support this series has been absolutely amazing i'm so not looking forward to this ending uh, but i guess it is about time three weeks is quite a long time for a tournament and it all goes down on 17th of September. I'm gonna be celebrating my birthday tomorrow, so no video, and then and then on 17th of September, I hopefully will perform well in the 1v1s. The only people I'm really afraid of are the people with Elijah and Spirit Shield, because there's not really much I can do against that. Uh, at that point, it's all about the odds basically not being in my favor, but you can always get lucky, right? There's always that option. A little bit of a ramble here at the end of this video, but yeah, all I can say is thank you, fellas, for the support. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you made it this far please subscribe i guess we're now on the road to 200k i guess that that hey it's happening we're making it official road to 200k subscribers begins here thank you very much for watching have a good one and bye bye